everyone. Um, today we're going to install the Type 4 engine exhaust. Now your engine could be either CU or CJ header. The one we're installing today is the CJ header and adjusting it onto a Type 4 engine over here just so you get the whole step-by-step -step instruction and process. Okay, I'm going to be joined with my colleague Mike. Mike, please come on in. And this is the engine right now. I'm going to help him out. To make things easier to understand, we're going to flip the engine upside down so that when you, so you can see clearly how the headers and the exhaust is installed. Okay, how we can find the There you go. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's begin. So, uh, zoom down over here. This is a standard exhaust that we didn't put on the tailpipe yet. However. For demonstration purposes, we've brought this one and the CJ headers. And these are the gasket and hardware kit that will come in the purchase of the exhaust. So you'd have to buy an extra uh, kit, unless of course you've lost it or you've misplaced some of the parts during installation. All right, we'll start. Let's go. Okay. So notice that when we place it in, we only sec we do not secure it. We do not fasten the bolts yet, but you want to attach it first. Just kind of hold it in place. All right, I'm going to take off the gloves. This is. Now the reason being is that if you secure it too tight, then it's hard to make any adjustments when you install the actual exhaust onto the headers. All right, let me tell you. One more. All right, so come over here. The reason why we don't install it, so see, you have room to move, so that when you install the exhaust, everything can be adjusted. If you secure it too tight, then it's gonna be locked on right here. All right, now, uh, Mike is fastening the bolts, so they're still kind of loose. Next step is putting on the gasket set. And you, you have to install the bolt onto those two corresponding holes first. The shorter end. Will be fastened into the flange. So not this side, but this side. Okay. Now, lift. Okay. Now we actually need this. Whoa, whoa. All right. The last one over here. Now again, once this is all in, because this is on a just a bare engine, we don't really need to make any adjustments, right? But when it's installed on your vehicle, maybe for clearance sake or anything, you need to make some minor adjustments, it's still possible. For instance here, look, you see? If you somehow need to locate, like adjust a little bit the angle, you can still do so. Now, once you've gone the right uh, adjustment and you don't need any make any more changes, then you fasten it. Our right, mic, please.
So this process works for both the CU and CJ headers and the equal length headers, same process if it's a type four engine, and type four exhaust. Now, if, again, if you're questioning why this looks a little bit unfinished, it's because the actual tailpipe comes out over here. That's not installed because it's taking up too much space. And just to keep things simple over here. Uh, if you have the lowered bus exhaust, then the tailpipe's already installed. I mean, it's already part of the actual exhaust. Let's flip it over. Yeah. All right. So after installation, this is how it should look. Again, if you have questions about how to install your exhaust, definitely DM us or email us at our company email. Thank you for watching. Cheers.